in a lot of website you will have seen this kind of slide especially in online shopping right so how to make this kind of slide today we are going to learn in this video but before starting hi guys welcome to my youtube channel Dawasi IIT if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet do subscribe now and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any ASP.NET videos so without wasting any time let's get started You know with the help of bootstrap carousel we'll easily create image slide if you have bootstrap file then it's good if you don't have then you have to download first if you don't know how to download we'll give a video link in the description below and you can watch from there and download bootstrap files here i will show you the image slide through the asp.net if you want to use other editing software then you can use like notepad Notepad++, Visual Studio Code and many more. You can use any of them. The coding process is same, okay? But don't worry, at the end of video, I will also tell you how to run the same code in Notepad. Okay, so now let's open Visual Studio. Click on File, New, Website, select ASP.NET Empty Website, type here the name of website like I'm typing here image slide click on ok now right click on project image slide add new item select web form I'm typing my web form name index click on add now we have to paste the bootstrap files here copy and paste here We'll also create a folder here. Right click on project, add new folder, and folder name I will type images. Now we have to copy the images and paste in this folder. Remember one thing all images should be same size, okay, because it looks better and attractive. Select all, Ctrl plus A, copy, Ctrl plus C, and paste here, Ctrl plus V. Now what we do here, we do paste some bootstrap files in the header section. First we paste CSS file, bootstrap.css. After that, JS file, jQuery 1.11.2.min.js, first we paste, after that bootstrap.min.js, now go to the body section, class, container here I will write my channel name Dawa CIT so type h2 style margin top 15 pixel and channel name Dava CIT Enter and type div ID 
and ID name my carousel. This is my ID name. You can write here any name. Okay. We will use this ID later when we use indicators and controls in the image. Now type here class equal to carousel we also add here one more class that is slide you can use two type of transition in bootstrap carousel one is slide and the other is fat for now I will be use slide attributes data right equal carousel data interval equal to 2000 that means 2 second every 2 second the image should be transitioned automatically and close div tag now type here again div class carousel inner role list box and now type here class equal to item here we add image so type here img src equal to I mean we add here this images name okay images slash and images name lowest dot jpg extension name and close copy and paste here I have four images so I will paste three times one two three you know one two three four we have a four images okay and change the images name offer one omen and fourth and this images name I will type here lepa mob now control plus s save and execute see the images is invisible right now I mean none of any images so here now what we do for solve this problem come back to visual studio type here active within item class a c t i v e active now control plus s save and refresh see the image is visible right as you can see here arrow exactly I want in my image I mean we have to apply the same type of controls next and previous controls in our images okay now exit from div inner class type here a class carousel control
and also type here left type here h r e f equal here we type this id my carousel first type has and paste role equal to button data slide equal to previous PREB and type here span class equal to glyphicon chevron left this glyphicon chevron left we also copy this name and paste here type here area hidden equal to true and close enter again span class equal sr only previous now copy this code for next control and paste here and change this name and type here right next right and change this name also type next now control plus s save and refresh see arrow symbol this is called controls next and previous control controls work properly right everything is okay you can also add the indicators to the carousel alongside the controls too this is called a indicators we will to apply the same indicators okay so come back to visual studio enter and type here order list o l class equal to carousel indicators list li data target equal to this id name copy control plus c has and paste here and paste here data slide zero we start from zero value and close so we have four images we already type one right now i copy and paste here three times control plus v now change the value 1 2 and 3 and type here the first list class active now control plus s save and execute 
see indicators are appeared here right we can also add captions to our slides easily with the help of carousel caption element like this enter and type here div class carousel caption type h5 this is size of text attribute okay and type my first slide Diwali offer. Now Ctrl plus S save and refresh. See caption my first slide. Diwali offer. This is the whole elements of Bootstrap Carousel. This is the best way if you want to use. this kind of slides in your website then you can easily create okay now we will show you how to do it on notepad i mean using notepad how you can create the slide like this first create a folder on desktop new folder my folder name is slide i want these two folders bootstrap and images so right click on project open folder in file explorer copy these two folders and paste here now open notepad press window key plus r and type here notepad now copy this whole code from html copy and paste here click on file and save i will type here index dot html click on save open this folder and run this browser see the same code i use in notepad and you can see the result image is very nicely moved from right to left right whether you want to build an image slides in notepad visual studio code notepad++ or asp.net you can use the same code in all text editing software no changes needed hope you like this video do subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for more educational videos thank you so much for watching